Once a protostar starts burning hydrogen in its core, it quickly passes through the T-Tauri stage in a few million years and becomes a main sequence star. During this stage of our universe, the majority of all stars in our galaxy and the universe are main sequence stars, including our Sun. These types of stars can vary in size, mass, and brightness, but the reason why all of them are considered main sequence stars is that they are converting hydrogen into helium in their cores, thus releasing huge amounts of energy. The tremendous amount of energy released stops it from contracting even more and causes it to shine. The fusion of hydrogen requires temperatures of more than 10 million Kelvin. A star in the main sequence is in a state of hydrostatic equilibrium. That is when the fusion reactions produce an outward pressure while gravity pulls the star inward. The inward and outward forces balance one another out, therefore stabilizing the star so that it maintains a spherical shape. How long a main sequence star lives depends on how massive it is. These stars can range from about a tenth of the mass of the Sun to up to 200 times as massive. A star with the mass of our Sun remains in main sequence for almost 10 billion years until all of the hydrogen has fused to form helium. A higher mass star may have more material, but it burns through it faster due to higher core temperatures caused by greater gravitational forces. A star 10 times as massive as the Sun will stick around for only 20 million years. Meanwhile, a red dwarf, which is half as massive as the Sun, can last 80 to 100 billion years, which is far longer than the universe's age of 13.8 billion years. This is why astronomers think red dwarfs are good sources for planets hosting life because they are stable for such a long time.